In the first video, we came up with these equations, acceleration, velocity, and position. In the second part of this video thing, I want to use those equations to try to start answering their questions. So I'm looking at question A. Question A says, when does the ball reach its maximum height? What is its height at that time? Well, I'm going to go to my whiteboard because we need to rephrase their question. Just a reminder, their question was, when does the ball reach its maximum height? Well, what does that have to do with acceleration, velocity, or position? Um, the problem with position is uh, I have to know the time in order to find the height. The velocity is the key here because when the ball has reached its maximum height, the velocity is zero because it's not going up at that point and it's not going down at that time. So instead of saying, when does the ball reach its maximum height, I'm going to write down what they really mean in terms of these three equations. So I want when is s of t, I'm going to just write down the equation, I guess, All right? Nope, sorry, not s of t, I want v of t. That's minus 32t plus 64, like that. And the second part of that question is, what is s of t at that time? What is the height? And I'm just going to put then, we'll see what happens here. You see, I didn't leave myself much space here, but all I want to know is when the velocity is equal to zero. Well, I just solve that for t, I get t equals two seconds. So we know at the two second mark, that ball is at very height, which by the way, very hard to do that without calculus. Now they're asking what is s of t then? Well, t is now two, so they're really asking what s of two is. And that's going to be minus 16 times 4, that's 64, plus 64 times 2, that's 2 times 64, um, plus 1280. Um, that's minus 64, plus 2 times 64, that's 64. I'm going to get 1344. And just for, so I can do this, feet. Yay, like that. That wasn't so bad. Um, an important thing was having those three equations and being able to rephrase their question in terms of what's going on. So that was part A. I'm going to erase the answer to part A. And we're going to go over and see what part B looks like. Part B, at what time does the ball reach the ground? What is the ball's velocity when it hits the ground? All right, so I'm going to go back over here, looking at part B, like this. They say, when does the ball reach the ground, right? That is when is s of t equal to zero, like that. Um, so we're trying to solve the equation minus 16t squared plus 64t plus 1280 equals zero. Uh, we could try to just use the quadratic formula or factor from there. I am going to pull a minus 16 out. How about if I just divide both sides by a minus 16? Um, minus 16 can't be equal to zero anyway, so we're at safe. So I'm going to write down the t squared minus 4t, I think minus 80 equals zero, like that. Now we can use the quadratic formula. This doesn't factor. Um, I'm going to complete the square because people don't see that often enough. I'm just going to write down t squared minus 4t way over here. I'm going to put my 80. I complete the square. I take half of minus 4, which is minus 2. I square it, which is 4, and I add it to both sides. Like that. Like that. We complete the square. So this is t minus 2 quantity squared equals 84. We take the square root of both sides. We get t minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 84. So t is going to be 2 plus or minus uh, the square root of 84. Now, by the way, you can see that that actually looks like the quadratic formula. This is how they get the quadratic formula, so it, it can't be too bad. Uh, I am going to cross off one of the answers because t is time. We have no idea what the ball was doing before 0, so we're just going to get like this. Um, we get 2 plus the square root of 84. 
Now that's not that bad. The squared of 84 is just a little bit bigger than 9. So this is just a little bit more than 11 seconds. So meanwhile, they asked, when does the ball reach the ground? Hey, we have that exactly. And then it says, what is the ball's velocity when it hits the ground? Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to answer the second part of the question. They said, what is the ball's velocity when it hits the ground? So that's just asking, what is V of the mess? Like that. Well, I'm just going to plug it in and see if this gets bad fast. Um, what does V do to things? It takes what it's ever inside the parentheses. That should be 84, eight. there we go. Um, yes, um, and then add 64. So I want to take uh, minus 32 times this. And then add 64. Like that. So I'm going to get minus 64 minus 32 times the square root of 84 plus 64. And I can see the 64 is canceled. Wrong, wrong. And so what I'm left with is minus three, minus 32 times something that's a little bit bigger than nine. So this is actually going to be in feet per second. And that's almost 300 feet per second going down. Um, that's pretty fast. Um, that's really fast. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hoping no one's actually sitting on the ground waiting to get hit. Anyways, that's how you do these. Right? You find the equations first, and then each time they ask a question, you try to rephrase the question in terms of the three equations. And you can see the actual algebra, it just isn't that bad.